Hello, this is Tyler Young, Elite Applications Engineer with Go Engineer. Today I'd like to show you how you can update your Composer document with changes that you have made in SolidWorks. So here you can see I have my Composer document with a handful of views made. I've created a, a bill of materials here. Um, I've also made a change in the position on some of these actors. So I've made a few changes. I want to now come in and use a change from SOLIDWORKS and update this without losing any of my work. So to do that, let's come back into SOLIDWORKS. Here's my SOLIDWORKS assembly that was created. and I'm just going to make a really simple change here. So if I double click on that there, I get my dimensions for this little separator in the middle. I'm going to double click on these to change the dimensions. And then after I do that, I'm just going to rebuild my assembly. And that'll update that. You can now see I have a much larger hole in between there. If I save my document now. All right, so now I have my assembly saved. I want to go back into Composer. So here in Composer, I have my document I want to update. So I come in and say File, Update, and I want to update the current document. So here's where I browse to my assembly file again. I want to double check my import options. So now this is something that is very important when updating documents. When you first create your Composer document, you set these different import options. If you were to change these import options when you update, the Composer document may lose certain information or it may lose all of its information. So you want to ensure that you use the same import options when you import, uh, when you update your Composer document. So I'm going to update this. And this will take a few seconds here and I'm just going to jump to the end. Alright, now my import has processed that took about 15 seconds so not very long for this simple assembly but it might take longer um, as you can see I did lose my textures but I have now updated that hole there on that middle part it is much larger and I still have all of my different views don't want to save that view all of my views that still contain the same information that now just have the updated geometry on this file just the updated geometry of that specific actor um, but that works you can update files this way um, the key thing again to remember is using the correct import options I hope you've enjoyed this video this has been Tyler Young with Go Engineer thanks mm -hmm.